giving the run. So how did this group add such an incredible talent and blend Kevin Durant in seamlessly and somehow yet still let him be his own brilliant self? Well, we had very little talent, actually. It was mostly coaching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say this. Um, he always has good yeah. I've got the I've got the best job in the world. These guys were so gifted and so committed to each other and so unselfish. And I love the players, love the coaches, and, I, and Bob Myers has been such a great friend to me these last couple of years. Peter and Joe, amazing organization. And I want to say a special thank you to Mike Brown yeah. and my whole coaching staff. Yeah. Um, thank you, man. Sailing smoothly when I was out, so fun to be part of this. It has not been easy. This is a group that had to navigate a game seven loss in the final few minutes yeah. here. You had to incorporate Kevin Durant of this championship of you won seven as a, as a player or a coach. Why is this group so special? Well, it's a combination of, of talent and commitment uh, to each other and the unselfish nature of all of them. Did you say that I, I had to fit Kevin Durant in? Yeah. 
It really wasn't that hard, but thanks. Congratulations. For the presentation of the 2017 Bill Russell Most Valuable Player Award for the NBA Finals, please welcome back NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. In his 10th year in the league, he's been a perennial all-star. He's been the league MVP, but he's never been the finals MVP. Your Bill Russell, 2017 finals MVP, Kevin Durant. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah. basketball resume when you arrived here already read multi-time scoring champion NBA MVP but now it will read NBA champion and finals MVP why are those things important to you it's a team sport you know and you want to achieve the highest honor in the team sport which is winning a championship and doing with these guys is amazing in front of these fans man. we got the great tonight we needed it the chance now I appreciate it You took your share of criticism, but you said win or lose, you have made the right decision. What have you found with this particular group of guys here in Golden State? Well, it's just a great group of guys, great community, great arena, great fans. I'm, I'm just so happy to be a part of them now. I can't wait to celebrate my teammates in the locker room. You talk about your mom and the influence she's had. I'll give you one final opportunity to maybe express some sentiments to her here. We did it. I told you when I was eight years old, we did it. Yeah. yeah. I was, uh, I mean, eight years old. My mom is four. Scott, you told us in the last couple of days that you had heard the chatter. That some of the criticisms that you faced in your prior finals appearances definitely made you a little defensive. How did you take all of that and falling short as a unit last year to become better equipped to win this championship? I mean, we learn from everything we've been through and you know, our perspective, being blessed to, to play on the stage three years in a row. It's all God. Um, it's, it's for these fans, it's for the organization, our families, to be back here and bring old Larry back home. Um, I'm just excited to be a part of this group Larry. and accomplish something special. And want to do it again. That's it. Are you guys ready for that? Yes, sir. Tonight, it's interesting, Andre Iguodala, there were periods in this playoff where he was not 100%, but in a closeout game, Steve Kerr turned to him once again. Can you describe what he gave you tonight? He's the ultimate professional, the ultimate veteran that understands, you know, every moment he's out there, he can spark us. Uh, and you don't know how it's going to happen, so tonight playing defense, knocking down big shots, hustle plays. It's the beauty of our team, because everybody does it, we do it by committee, and, um, he embodies that. He's embodied that since he's been here. The sacrifice he's made. And uh, I can't wait to beat him on the golf course soon, too, baby. <laughs> Congratulations, Scott. Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson. <laughs> Congratulations on your second title in three years. I don't know how a guy switches amongst Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, and Kevin Love and somehow makes that look easy or absorbs the nights where it isn't easy. So how do you do it, Clay? Uh, well, I got the best team behind me, so it's easy to press your man and play defense when you got these guys behind you blocking shots and helping you. And uh, just effort and for the pride. 
you know, when, when Kevin Durant was added, you said there would be no adjustment, that your game would remain the same, but you did have to find a way to be more efficient. That was to you. And that's to say that's congratulations. Just, so how were you able to do that? Oh, it's no adjustment when you get, get a guy like Kevin Durant. I mean, look at it. He went 16 and 1. You know, that's what he does for our team. And along with the other guys we picked up, it was just a collective effort. So it wasn't much of an adjustment, and it's easy to adjust when you're winning. And um, that's what it's all about. Titles make it worth it. Congratulations. Draymond Green. Why would you hang up? Did you hang up? I didn't. I couldn't hear Right there, Come here, go back and say, you said last year, I told you that. You measured your responsibility. I did. Again. So how did you take the passion that is so integral to the success of this team and get it where it needed to be to win a second one? Um, I'll record you going the other room. And obviously, yeah. you know, we had a let down last year. I'll record year. you going the other room. I had a let down last year, but... Like I told everybody before, if, if, if Kevin Durant was the consolation prize to lose, thanks for that loss, and we champs this year. How did your redemption feel? It's amazing. You know, we've always, we talked about the entire year, let's get back what we deserve. We want to be champions again, so, you know, I feel great, and I'm ready to go pop some champagne. I'll let you get to it. Congratulations, Draymond. The 2017 NBA champion, Golden State Warriors.